What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Swanky Disc Reviews. I'm Luke, this is Reed. Today we have Discraft boxes that we just got in. Huge shout out to Discraft for sending us these. Um, this is not a sponsored video or anything, but they sent us these to try out. We will have some reviews coming soon, but we wanted to unbox and react because there are new plastics, new molds, and new uh, variants of molds in certain plastics that haven't been done before is what I've been told. So we're gonna kind of open these up, react to them, let you guys know what we think. We'll start one box uh, at a time, uh, Reed. We're not uh, savages. We're not savages. <laughs> um, Let's open that one first. This first box is, looks like revamped. They recently revamped. They haven't really put out details on what exactly that means, Ooh. but titanium plastic. Um, Ooh. So my beef with titanium plastic has always been that it is super, super slick. Uh, it, fe it felt like no matter what condition, it was hard to hold on to and slick. They claim that this is less slick now. I don't know what they did to make that happen. Less slick and more swirly. I, have ti I, might, I don't think I have a titanium disc around here, but the old titanium plastic was usually one block color always one block yeah, one. color that was kind of ugly what do you think they feel good i always I mean, thought they the look, look of it was like designed to look like some sort of metal like a yeah. like an element you know Ooh. but now it's swirly and it's just objectively prettier i think this is a cicada Ooh. and that thing is gorgeous we have a buzz a zone cicada and a thrasher this this buzz is not as slick this zone's pretty slick i'm not gonna lie to you yeah, these feel other less. ones feel pretty good. This does feel slick. <laughs> this doesn't. They feel tried slick to at make all. it less slick. I've never been a huge fan good. of titanium, so I'm very excited to try these. And they do look beautiful. I know they said that was just part of the revamp was to make them look swirly and cool. They look gorgeous. They feel really good. Oh, and then we also have a first run drive. This is a six stamp on the first run drive. If you can see that on the camera, beautiful. This really cool feels stamp. great. I mean, it's just the, the cicada feels great, but that feels awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the look of it. Excited the stamp to is nice. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it at some point in all this. Discraft has been doing a very good job. This is sick. This year specifically innovating and getting stuff out there in a world where disc golf has really plateaued all around for the most part. All right, next box. Next box. Is, I'm pretty sure, yeah, also like new, different molds and different plastics and a new mold from the shipping list the I saw. First, is a Jawbreaker OS, Zone OS. Jawbreaker Zone OS. That is just a weird combo there. And we have Soft Blend Fierces. We have two of those. Wow, oh, these are actually really soft, especially in the middle. Ooh, they feel good. They're very grippy. I wonder, oh wait, this is the hard blend. This is the and this soft. Is soft. Blend. Okay. So, are they that different? Yeah, they're pretty different. Yeah, they're pretty. Especially on the rim. Yeah, the rim's one. really firm. Oh yeah. No, this one's definitely gummier. This is just a jawbreaker roach. Have they not done that before maybe? Oh, surely they have. Yeah. Looks gorgeous though. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. <laughs> Looks like Monster Tank. And then at the bottom or we what's have- what's that ice cream flavor called? You know what I'm talking about? Mo monster? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> monster? I don't know. We have a Swarm first run. Oh, of sick. The new mid range. Yes. This was PDG approved this year. Swarm. Came out pretty recently. Looks cool. Overstable mid range. What's the numbers on it? 5304. I mean, just straight up, it's board flat. So this is going to be competing with like the drone and the Buzz OS and the Wasp. I guess it's way more overstable than the Wasp, though. I don't know, feel it. I like it, I it feels, feels pretty good. I've got a comp. It's got such a deep shoulder. Yeah, it's very, it's interesting. very deep. Um, 5304. It, like? it doesn't have a bead. I think it feels good. Um, so it is beadless. If you really like overstable mid ranges, but they all have beads, which I feel like a lot of them do. The Justice, the Recluse, the mutant even t it doesn't really have a bead, but it has like a really odd feeling shoulder. You could go with this. Maybe, maybe this will be your solution. This is the stiffest jawbreaker plastic I've ever felt in my life. Usually jaw jawbreaker plastic's a little gummy. This is stiff as a board. Is ESP the goat? I mean, <laughs> ESP this ESP feels nice. so good. <laughs> the, the ESP feels incredible. A little bit of give on there. 
Yeah, this feels awesome. I don't know, this feels sweet. like it will outlive this planet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> these are unique. I'm curious to throw these. I don't putt with fierces, and none of us putt with fierces, but they fly very unique. Under super understable three speeds. We don't use those super often, so I'll probably try and throw these and see how they fly. Um, but that's gonna do it for us. These are really cool plastics, really cool molds. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Which company out there has been killing it the most this year? Let us know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do the YouTube things. We'll see you in the next one. Stay, Stay swanky. swanky.